Imagine a clash of titans, two forces, immense and powerful, locked in a battle for supremacy. This is the story of the tech world today. On one side, we have GAFAM, Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft. Giants who reshaped our world. They brought us information at our fingertips, connected us across continents, and revolutionized the way we live and work. But like all titans, their grip on power isn't absolute. A new challenger has emerged from the East, hungry and ambitious. They are BATX, Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent, and Xiaomi. These are not just companies. They are empires built on innovation, ambition, and a market teeming with over a billion people. Who will emerge victorious in this clash of titans? The race is on. A race for the future of technology for global dominance. GAFAM, once the undisputed champions, are now facing a formidable opponent. Picture a marathon. For years, GAFAM has been leading the pack. They set the pace, dictated the rules, and enjoyed the spoils of victory. But somewhere along the way, BATX started gaining ground. They trained harder, innovated faster, and capitalized on a rapidly changing landscape. Today, the gap is closing. BATX is breathing down GAFAM's neck, challenging their every move. This isn't just about market share or profits. It's about who shapes the future, who defines how we interact with technology, with information, with each other. What will this new world look like? What happens when the titans clash? Will GAFAM find a second wind and reclaim their dominance? Or will back surge ahead, ushering in a new era in tech? Join me, Ravo, now as we delve deep into the battle of Bax vs Gafam. We'll explore the reasons behind Gafam's stumble, uncover the secrets of Bax's meteoric rise, and analyze what this seismic shift means for the future of technology. Let's go. Welcome to Revo. Now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Let's rewind the clock. Before the rise of Batex, the tech world was a very different place. Gafam reigned supreme. These weren't just companies, they were empires, built on lines of code and fueled by innovation. They redefined the very fabric of our digital lives. Google, the gatekeeper of information, made the world's knowledge accessible with a single click. They took us from searching through dusty encyclopedias to exploring the vast expanse of the internet. Apple, the epitome of sleek design and user-friendly technology, revolutionized personal computing and mobile devices. They didn't just create products, they crafted experiences, seamlessly blending technology with our daily lives. Facebook, the architect of social connection, built a digital town square where billions connect, share and interact. Section 2. From Garages to Global Giants These tech titans emerged from humble beginnings. Stories of garages and dorm rooms transformed into tales of global domination. Amazon, the e-commerce juggernaut, started as an online bookstore, gradually expanding its reach to encompass everything from groceries to cloud computing. They redefined retail, making it possible to order anything with a click and have it delivered to your doorstep. Microsoft the software giant empowered businesses and individuals alike with their operating systems and productivity tools. They became synonymous with personal computing, their software embedded in homes and offices worldwide. 
these companies, driven by ambition and a relentless pursuit of innovation, reshaped industries, disrupted traditional business models, and transformed the way we live, work, and interact with the world. Section 3. The Rise of the Digital Age GAFAM's rise coincided with the explosion of the Internet and the dawn of the digital age. They were pioneers navigating uncharted territory and capitalizing on the immense potential of this new frontier. They understood the power of data, the importance of user experience, and the need for constant innovation. They created products and services that were not only groundbreaking but also addictive seamlessly integrating themselves into the fabric of our lives. We embraced their offerings wholeheartedly, marvelling at the convenience, the connectivity and the access to information they provided. Google became our go-to source for answers. Facebook our virtual meeting place. Amazon our online shopping mall. Apple devices became coveted status symbols and Microsoft software powered our businesses and our homes. Section 4. A world connected. The world was rapidly changing, and GayFam was at the forefront of this transformation. They connected billions of people, democratized information, and fueled a global economy driven by innovation and technology. Their influence extended far beyond the realm of technology, shaping industries from media and entertainment to finance and healthcare. Governments sought their expertise, businesses modelled themselves after their success, and individuals marvelled at their seemingly unstoppable rise. GAFAM's success was undeniable. They had amassed fortunes, built global empires and become synonymous with innovation and technological prowess. They were the undisputed titans of the tech world, their dominance seemingly unchallenged. Section 5. Cracks in the Fortress While GayFam basked in their success, a new power was emerging in the East, quietly but steadily gaining momentum. A force driven by a different set of rules, a different market, and a different vision for the future of technology. This new wave was not just about innovation, but also about redefining the very essence of technological progress. BATX, Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent, and Xiaomi were quietly building their own empires, learning from GAFAM's successes and capitalizing on their missteps. They were not just competitors, but pioneers in their own right. They understood the changing landscape of the tech world, the shifting demographics and the unique opportunities presented by a rapidly developing market. Their strategies were tailored to the unique needs and aspirations of their local markets. The ground was shifting beneath Gafam's feet, and they seemed oblivious to the seismic changes taking place. The once unshakable giants were now facing challenges they had never anticipated. They had become comfortable, complacent even, their focus inward, their eyes on maintaining their dominance, rather than adapting to the evolving landscape. Their strategies were becoming outdated in a world that was rapidly changing. The cracks in their fortress were starting to show and a new era was dawning. The rise of backs signalled not just competition but a fundamental shift in the global tech paradigm. Section 1. The Dragon Awakens While Gafam focused on maintaining their global dominance, a sleeping giant was stirring in the east. China with its vast population and rapidly developing economy, was becoming a hotbed for technological innovation. The BATS companies, Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent, and Xiaomi, emerged from this fertile ground, fueled by the aspirations of a billion people eager to embrace the digital age. These companies understood the unique challenges and opportunities presented by the Chinese market. They navigated the complexities of government regulations, tapped into the vast pool of local talent and, most importantly, tailored their products and services to the specific needs and desires of Chinese consumers. Mm -hmm. 
Section 2. A Billion Dreams, A Billion Users China's population exceeding 1 billion people provided BTX with a massive home field advantage. This vast user base fueled their growth, provided invaluable data, and created a captive market for their products and services. Imagine a digital gold rush, where the more users you attract, the more valuable your platform becomes. This was the reality for Baytex. Each new user added to their data pool, allowing them to refine their algorithms, personalize their offerings, and create a sticky ecosystem that kept users coming back for more. This massive user base also attracted investors, eager to capitalize on the potential of the Chinese tech market. BayTX, with their finger on the pulse of this digital revolution, became the darlings of the investment world, attracting billions in funding. China's internet landscape, often referred to as the Great Firewall, presented unique challenges for foreign companies. Google, Facebook, and other Western tech giants faced restrictions and censorship, limiting their ability to compete on a level playing field. This created an unexpected advantage for BATCs. Shielded from direct competition, they were free to innovate, experiment, and establish themselves as the dominant players in the Chinese market. Baidu, unchallenged by Google, became the go-to search engine for millions. Alibaba, without the presence of Amazon, established itself as the e-commerce king. Baytx didn't just benefit from a protected market, they thrived on innovation. They understood that to succeed in China's dynamic tech environment, they had to move fast, adapt quickly, and constantly push the boundaries of what was possible. They embraced new technologies, like artificial intelligence, mobile payments and social commerce, integrating them seamlessly into their platforms. Tencent's WeChat, for example, evolved from a simple messaging app into an all-encompassing super app, offering everything from mobile payments to ride-hailing services. This relentless focus on innovation allowed BATX to not only meet, but exceed the evolving demands of Chinese consumers, solidifying their dominance in the market. ABATX understood that innovation wasn't just about creating new technologies. It was about solving real-world problems and improving people's lives. They focused on making technology accessible and affordable, bringing millions of Chinese citizens into the digital fold for the first time. They created mobile payment systems that allowed people to transact without traditional bank accounts, e-commerce platforms that connected rural farmers with urban consumers, and entertainment platforms that provided access to a world of content. In many ways, Bax was leapfrogging the competition, bypassing traditional technologies and business models to create something entirely new and uniquely suited to the Chinese market. This combination of a massive user base, a supportive regulatory environment, and a relentless focus on innovation created a perfect storm for Bax's rise propelling them from local players to global tech titans. While BATX were busy conquering the Chinese market, a different story was unfolding in the West. GAFAM, once the undisputed champions of the tech world, were facing a new reality. The walls of their once limitless empires were starting to close in. The once fertile grounds of innovation were beginning to feel like a crowded room with little space to maneuver. The very factors that had propelled their meteoric rise, global reach, a focus on a few dominant platforms and a relentless pursuit of user data, were now becoming liabilities. Their sprawling empires, once a testament to their dominance, were starting to feel like unwieldy behemoths, slow to adapt to the changing landscape. GAFAM's business models, built on the premise of constant expansion and user acquisition, were hitting a wall. The markets they had dominated for so long were reaching saturation point. Almost everyone who wanted a smartphone had one. Every household had access to the internet. 
and the race to sign up new users was becoming increasingly competitive and expensive. The law of large numbers was catching up with them. When you're already serving billions of users, finding new avenues for growth becomes increasingly challenging. The easy wins were gone, and the fight for every incremental user became a costly and complex endeavor. As GAFAM's power and influence grew, so did the scrutiny from regulators and lawmakers around the world. Concerns over data privacy, antitrust issues, and the spread of misinformation put GAFAM squarely in the crosshairs of governments and regulatory bodies. The European Union, in particular, took a hard line on data protection, imposing hefty fines on companies like Google and Facebook for violating privacy regulations. In the United States, lawmakers were increasingly vocal about the need to rein in the power of big tech with calls for antitrust investigations and stricter regulations on data collection and use. These regulatory headwinds created a climate of uncertainty for GAFAM, making it harder for them to operate with the same freedom and impunity they had enjoyed in the past. Perhaps the most concerning trend for GAFAM was the creeping sense that their innovative edge was dulling. The once relentless pace of new product launches and groundbreaking technologies seemed to be slowing down. Instead of disrupting themselves, they seemed content to iterate on existing products, squeezing every last drop of revenue from their cash cows. While backs were busy experimenting with new technologies like artificial intelligence, mobile payments and social commerce, GAFAM seemed stuck in a rut, their focus shifting from creating the future to maintaining their grip on the present. This lack of innovation made them vulnerable to disruption, both from agile startups and, increasingly, from their rivals in the East. The divergence between GAFAM and BAX highlighted a growing divide in the tech world, the emergence of two distinct internets. GAFAM, with their global reach, still held sway over large parts of the world, but their influence was waning in key markets like China. BATX, on the other hand, had built their empires within the walled garden of the Chinese internet, but their ambitions were now extending beyond their borders. They were investing in startups, expanding their operations overseas, and challenging GAFAM's dominance in areas like e-commerce, mobile payments and artificial intelligence. The battle lines were being redrawn, and the outcome of this clash of titans was far from certain. Remember that sleeping giant we talked about? The one stirring in the east? The one that has been quietly building its strength, waiting for the right moment? Well, it's fully awake now, and it's not just roaring, it's soaring. It's taking flight with a newfound vigor and ambition. Baytx? once content with dominating the Chinese market, is spreading its wings, taking flight on the global stage. These tech giants are no longer confined to their home turf. This isn't a hostile takeover. It's more like a natural evolution, a seamless transition from local dominance to global influence. Just as GayFam's influence spread organically, driven by the ubiquity of their products, their innovation, and their relentless pursuit of excellence, BATX, is following a similar trajectory. They are not just emulating, they are innovating and setting new standards. But this phoenix carries a different kind of fire. The fire of a billion aspirations, the dreams of a nation, of a market hungry for innovation, eager to embrace the future, and of a technological prowess that's leaving the rest of the world in awe. Their advancements are not just impressive, they are groundbreaking. They're not just catching up, they're setting the pace, redefining the rules of the game and pushing the boundaries of what's possible and showing the world what happens when a billion minds connect, create and innovate. This is the rise of the Phoenix, a new era of technological dominance. Section 2. Super Apps The Swiss Army Knives of the East one of Batex's most potent weapons in their global expansion is the Super App. 
Imagine an app that's not just an app, but an entire digital ecosystem. Need to send a message? Check. Order food? Check. Book a doctor's appointment? Check. Pay your bills? Check. 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 Super apps like WeChat and Alipay have become indispensable in China, seamlessly integrating into every aspect of daily life. They're the digital Swiss army knives of the East, offering a level of convenience and interconnectedness that Western apps can only dream of. And now, BATX is bringing this super app model to the rest of the world, adapting it to local markets and capturing the imagination of users who are tired of juggling a dozen different apps for their daily needs. In their early days, BATX faced criticism for allegedly copying Western companies. But those days are long gone. BITX has evolved from imitator to innovator, pioneering technologies and business models that are now being studied and emulated around the world. Take mobile payments, for example. While the West was still fumbling with credit cards and contactless payments, China, led by BATX, went all in on mobile payments. Today, China boasts a mobile payment infrastructure that's light years ahead of the rest of the world, with apps like Alipay and WeChat Pay becoming ubiquitous. Similarly, BATX is at the forefront of artificial intelligence, facial recognition technology, and 5G implementation, pushing the boundaries of what's possible and setting the stage for the next wave of technological disruption. Section 4. The global stage awaits. BATX's global ambitions are no longer a secret. Alibaba, with its massive e-commerce platform, is already a global player, connecting businesses and consumers around the world. Tencent, with its investment in companies like Epic Games, the maker of Fortnite, and Riot Games, the maker of League of Legends, is becoming a major force in the global gaming industry. Baidu, with its heavy investment in artificial intelligence and self-driving car technology, is positioning itself to be a leader in the future of transportation. Xiaomi, with its affordable yet high-quality smartphones and smart devices, is rapidly gaining market share in emerging markets around the world. The world is taking notice, and the stage is set for BATX to take its place as a dominant force in the global tech landscape. Section 5. The future is BATX shaped The GAFAM era isn't over, not yet. But the tectonic plates of the tech world are shifting, and a new era is dawning, an era shaped by the rise of BATX. This isn't just about market share or technological prowess. It's about a fundamental shift in the balance of power, a changing of the guard in the world of technology. BATX, with its massive user base, its innovative spirit, and its understanding of the needs and aspirations of a rapidly changing world is poised to lead this new era. The future of technology is being written in the East, and it's a future that's brimming with possibilities, challenges, and a whole lot of innovation. So buckle up, because the BATX revolution is just getting started. Section 1. The Changing of the Guard We've journeyed from the rise of GAFAM, those titans of Silicon Valley, to the awakening of a new force in the East Backs. We've seen how GAFAM, once seemingly invincible, now grapple with saturated markets, regulatory scrutiny, and a slowing pace of innovation. Their world, once limitless, now feels confined, the walls closing in. But from those perceived limitations, a new opportunity arises. Just as GayFam once challenged the old guard of the tech world, now BATX emerges, not to replicate, but to redefine. They bring with them the dynamism of a billion users, a culture of relentless innovation, and a keen understanding of the future that's being shaped. Mobile first, interconnected, and driven by the power of the super app. Section 2. Join the revolution. The tech world is evolving at an unprecedented pace, and it's time to be part of this transformative journey. 
This isn't just a shift in market share, it's a seismic change in the very fabric of the tech world. The landscape is being redefined, and new players are emerging as dominant forces. The center of gravity is shifting eastward, and Baytx stands at the forefront of this revolution. These companies are not just participating, they are leading the charge with innovation and ambition. They are writing the next chapter in the story of technology, a chapter filled with exciting possibilities and challenges that will reshape our world in profound ways. From AI advancements to groundbreaking hardware, the future is being crafted today. So, what does this mean for you? It means opportunities to learn, grow, and be part of something bigger than ever before. It means embracing the change, staying curious, and engaging in the conversation. The tech revolution is not a spectator sport, it's a call to action. What are your thoughts on the rise of BTX? How do you see this shift impacting the global tech ecosystem? Are we witnessing the dawn of a new era in tech? Or will GAFAM find a way to reclaim their throne? The battle for supremacy is far from over. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Your insights and opinions are crucial to this ongoing dialogue. And while you're at it, tell me what other tech battles you want me to dissect in my next video. Your suggestions help shape the content we create. Until then, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep the conversation going. The future of tech is in our hands. This is Revo Now signing off. Stay tuned for more insights and discussions. Subscribe to Revo Now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.